Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Cypress tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to automate the checkboxes and radio buttons. So let's begin. Handling of checkboxes and radio buttons are really, really easy in Cypress. So for that, let's go to the browser here and search for Cypress check. And this is a check command. Click on this one. And this is the check command which is used to check boxes and for the radio buttons. And the element must be an input type with the checkbox or radio. So we need to inspect the HTML and we need to ensure that the input tag should be there for the checkboxes and the radio buttons. So this is a syntax check, check value, check values. And with the options, we can do that. And the correct usage is that we need to find the element using this type checkbox or the radio and we also need to use this check command and for example if we want to select the first radio element then we need to use this one so this is the correct usage of this check command now uh, let's open the website which we will use for this particular tutorial and this is a form here actually and let me copy this one from here and let's open this form here and once it will be open so this is a very simple form here and you will see there are multiple checkboxes so checkboxes are those where you can select all the checkboxes or if you want to unselect you can select or even if you want to select multiple or single checkbox you can do that however with respect to the radio buttons you can select only one right so you can only one radio button from here now what we need to do is that first we need to inspect and see either these have an input type or not so right click on this one go to the inspect and if i go here you see this is a input type checkbox and similarly i want to inspect this one and see so this is uh, you can see this is a input type radio so we can automate this using this check command now let's open the visual studio code here and let's create a one class here new and uh, let me name it as checkboxes and radio button dot js so uh, let me copy this reference line from here and paste it here and uh, the first thing uh, we need to do is that we need to uh, use this describe describe and inside the describe let me name it as validate check boxes and radio button right and we need to use the callback function here and this is uh, the body of callback function and inside this we need to give the test using the it block and let me create one it block here again uh, validate check boxes and let me use the function and then the body of the function the first thing is that we need to visit the website right so let me copy this line from here and paste it here right and let's uh, change the URL so this is the URL let me copy this one from here and let's go to this one with the studio code here change this one and now uh, what we need to do is that we need to write the code so that we can check the all check boxes so in order to check the all let me write a comment here check all boxes so this is what we need to do so this is really simple cy dot get and now what we are trying to do is that we will be using the input type and inside the input type what we are saying that inside the input there should be the type which is equals to check boxes so check boxes or check box so let me confirm this one from here so if i inspect here so what is a type here so it's uh, basically a check box and let me go here and inspect this one properly so 
input type equals to checkbox and now go back here and this is done so what this will do this it will get all the the input tag having the type checkbox okay so once you will have this one simply what we need to do is that we need to check we need to sorry we need to check all these elements so let me save this one and let's see what happens so let me save this one and run this again uh, let's run this again it says note as found no worries uh, let me here let me change it a bit here and save it here and now i need to go here and what we need to do is that we need to open this particular test so it will go to this website it will check all the checkboxes on the this particular page so it will go to this website and it will check all the checkboxes available on this particular page now uh, what we need to do is that we need to uncheck all these so very simple very easy simply i need to copy uh, this command here and before i write here let me comment here and uncheck all boxes and instead of check what we need to use is that dot uncheck so it will uncheck all the check fields so let's see it will go here and here you see nothing is checked because previously is checked then it unchecked all the fields now if we want to check any particular field for example i want to check only this free estimate from here so uh, this is pretty easy from here as well uh, and let me put a comment here check only specific specific check box so uh, this is uh, again uh, very easy let me copy this command and paste it here and here we need to specify the value of checkbox so uh, i need to see the value of this particular checkbox because as per the instructions from the cypress we need to provide the value so here if we go and inspect so value is this free estimate and let me show you the official documentation where they say we can provide a value or value and now go back here and provide the value here and save this one so what it will do is that it will uh, so we got some errors so let me rerun this one so it says visit failed to try to load this one responsive is web server 500 so we are getting some uh, 500 response error on this particular form and uh, let me see either this form is accessible or not so form is accessible and let me go here and provide terminator and see what happens yes it's working fine now so now you see that it only checked the free estimate here. Now, if we want to select the multiple values, not all the values, so we can also do that. That's again, uh, really simple here. And let me comment this line and let me add check multiple check. and uh, let me copy this line from here and paste it here and here just like we have provided the value of one so we can provide the value of the multiple checkboxes here using the array so simply this one and the value of second then we'll close this one so let's go here and assume that i need to select this checkbox as well so let me inspect this one 
and here we need to find the value so this is the value copy this one let's go to visual studio code provide this one and now save this one so it will open and it will at the end it was like the two values so that's how you can work with the checkboxes now what we need to do is that we need to work with the radio buttons the approach is similar and what we need to do is that let me go back here and now because uh, in the concept of the radio buttons you can only select one at a time so we we don't need a uncheck option here so for that let me copy this whole from here and paste it here and instead of checkboxes let me name it as radio button i don't need to visit the website again and let me remove this from here so simply uh, what we need to do is that we need to provide the the input type here it should be the radio right so see why but before that uh, it says some error we have so i have mistakenly removed some uh, options here i guess so but let it write so we'll see that again so cy dot get and here uh let me copy this from here. so let me copy this from here and paste it here and we need to provide the colon value here and again the colon at the end and instead of this this is a, a radio and that's it but here we cannot select all the values so what we can do the first thing is that we can use the the command called first okay and when it will find the first then we will ask the cypress to check this value so let's run this and see most probably we'll get error because uh, you know we are getting some kind of a syntax here so let me see what is the error so it says expected something so this bracket this bracket and and let me see where we are doing a mistake so basically what happens is that we haven't closed this first test here and let's provide this one here and save this now now it should work yes it's working fine now and you see that it also clicked on this residential value which is a radio button now there is another way uh, if we don't want to use this first command because we don't have any kind of a second command here in order to check the second radio button so how we can do that that's really simple just like we did it here we will be using this approach to check any particular radio button here so here let me change this to radio and let's change it here and what we need to check here we need to check the second value which is commercial and let me see the value of this one so the value is this one let's copy this one from here go back here and provide the value here now let's run this one and see what happens so yes so it's check the commercial first it checked let's see the execution so this is the radio buttons where he where it actually get all the radio buttons you will see here it was highlighted here then the first one it's like the first one then checked and then get the input again and checked on the commercial so uh, that's all about the radio buttons and check boxes today thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial